Song Quiz is requesting to sign you in. Say continue or skip. Skip. Okay, the next game is starting in a few seconds. Hey, Google. Choose a pop music. Stop. Stop. If you've enjoyed Song Quiz, you might like Movie Quiz. To play, just say to Google, talk to Movie Quiz. Not Movie that Hey, Google. Let's play Are You Feeling Lucky? Welcome to Are You Feeling Lucky? It's five questions for up to six people. I give it a 10 out of 10. How many people do we have today? Two. Two people playing. Awesome. One of you has to step up and be the first player in this group. Say hello, player one. Hello. Great, I'm going to call you Scooter. Here's the Scooter sound. And let's go to player two. Please say hi there. Hi there. Wonderful job. I think I'll call you Nibbler. Okay, here are your names again, so you don't forget. Scooter and Nibbler. Question one. The category is entertainment for 10 points. Elvis Presley failed music class in high school. True or false? Let's start with Scooter. False. I figured you'd say that. Okay. And what do you think, Nibbler? True. Got it. True. Fantastic. Elvis music teacher also told him he couldn't sing. Thankfully, the advice didn't shake him up too bad. Let's go to the next one. The category is language for 10 points. What does the check phrase, another type of coffee, mean? Secret. Not now. Or can't be compared. Your first nibbler. The first one. Okay, got it. And what do you think, Scooter? The first one. Do you? Stop dying. Okay, we'll see. Can't be compared. Ouch. A popular coffee drink in the Czech Republic consists of boiling water and coffee grounds mixed together in a cup. It's called Turetska Kava. Then. Looks like that question has you all snookered. Then. On to the next one. The category is geography for 15 points. In what continent is the oldest known piece of the Earth's crust found? Australia, Asia, or Antarctica? You go first, Scooter. Asia! Really? All right. And now you go, Nibbler. Antarctica. <laughs> Let's see. Australia. Sorry about that. Zircon crystals from the Jack Hills of Australia have been dated to 4.4 billion years ago. Our planet was just a sea of lava then, so we've come a long way. Let's move on. The category is Google search for 15 points. Which nightshade is most searched for worldwide? Tomato, eggplant, or potato? You go first, nibbler. Potato. Okay, got it. How about you, Scooter? Repeat. Repeat. Which nightshade is most searched for worldwide? Tomato, eggplant, or potato? Tomato. Super. Let's see. Potato. Excellent. The nightshade family of plants includes around 2,700 species. In addition to important food plants, this also includes poisonous plants like belladonna. Time for our final question. Our final destination is guesstimation station. You'll need to guess a number, and the closest guess gets the most points. 
The category is art for 30 points. How many figures are painted on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Your first scooter. 100. I figured you'd say that. Okay. That leaves you, Nibbler. 120. Thanks. 343. No! I Popular mean, lore suggests I mean that it. Michelangelo painted the ceiling I mean. while lying on his back, but in fact he painted standing. Okay, let's give out some points. It's a magnificent 30 for Nibbler. Scooter, as they say at bingo, no, you're getting plenty. Points. That means 20. It's all over, and it's time to check the score. In second place, it's Scooter. In first, first place. place, sitting at the top of Majestic Mount Trivia, it's... Yes, I win, I win. Nibbler. Well, that was fun. Do you want to play again? Yes. Great. Are the same people playing? Yes. Great. Let's get started. Question one. The category is health. For 10 points. Aches in your body can forecast the weather. True or false? We'll start with you, Scooter. False. Thank you very much. And what do you think, Nibbler? Repeat. Aches in your body can forecast the weather. True or false? False. Got it. True. I'm sad for wow, you. Atmospheric I'm pressure you. <laughs> sometimes causes body tissue to expand, ah. which can make joints swell up. Hi. On to the next one. The category is language for 10 points. What does the Spanish idiom with you, bread and onions mean? Never happy, annoying friends, or with you always? Please go first, nibbler. Annoying onions. <laughs> Maybe try saying the number of the answer option you want, like the first one. <laughs> the second one. Okay, thanks. That leaves you, Scooter. Repeat! <laughs> what does the Spanish idiom, with you, bread and onions, mean? Never happy, annoying friends, or with you always? With you always. That answer doesn't work. Maybe try something with you like always. first one or second answer. With you always. Great, let's check. With you always. Uh -huh. nice. In this idiom, bread oh, symbolizes together. sweetness and good times and with onions always? represent scarcity. Next question. The category is Google search for 15 points. In which country are rats a more commonly searched rodent than mice? Australia, Thailand, or Norway? Let's start with Scooter. No harm in guessing. Fireland. <laughs> that answer doesn't work. Maybe try something like first one or second answer. Repeat! In which country are rats a more commonly searched rodent than mice? Australia, Thailand, or Norway? Australia! Noted. And what do you think, Nibbler? Thailand. Okay, let's check. Thailand. Nice work. Yeah. Rats are a popular dish in Thailand. I hear they taste dish. like chicken. They eat this one. Here's the next one. The category is literature for 15 points. Which of these authors only published one novel in their life? Cormac McCarthy, Emily Bronte, or Patricia Highsmith? Your first nibbler. Patricia Highsmith. <laughs> Curious answer. Thanks. <laughs> and now you go, Scooter. Patricia Highsmith. Let's see. Emily Bronte. I'm sad for you. <laughs> Emily Bronte published Wuthering Heights in 1847 and died the following year. 
Her sisters Anne and Charlotte were also authors. Time for our final question. All aboard. It's time for the guesstimation station simulation. That means you have to guess a number. The category is history for 30 points. How many months did it take to build the Titanic? Let's start with scooter. No harm in guessing. Repeat. How many months did it take to build the Titanic? 35. Would you try that again, please? 35. <laughs> Got it. How about you, Nibbler? Eight. What time your class? Two. It's two seven. Forty-six months. How many months did it take to build the Titanic? Okay, okay. Forty-six months. It's two seven. You don't have class. Okay. Great. Let's check. Twenty-six. It took about 3,000 people to build it. Let's divide up the points. It's a magnificent 30 for Nibbler. Scooter, as they say at Bingo, you're getting plenty. That means 20. It's all over, and it's time to check the score. In second place, it's Scooter. And in first place, sitting at the top of Majestic Mount Trivia, it's... Nibbler. Well, that was fun. Turn on light color into red. Hey Google, turn on light into red. I'm here and ready to help. If you want me to turn on a specific smart device, just say, turn on, followed by the name of the device as it appears in the Google Home app. Hey Google. Turn on light color into purple. White, white. Hey Google, turn on light color into white. No other color, green. Hey Google, turn on light color into green. Another color. Hey Google, turn on color into blue. <laughs>